Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, our question is: Find the compound interest on rupees three thousand one hundred twenty-five for three years. If the rate of interest for the first, second, and third year respectively are four percent, five percent, and six percent per annum. So this is a question on solve this. So for this question, firstly write all the information that are being given. So write principal is equal to rupees. It is given three one two five. So R one we write R one, so it is the interest for the first year that is given four percent. So we write R one is equal to four percent, comma. Now the R two that is the in uh, rate of interest for the second year it is given five percent. So write R two is equal to five percent, and finally R three is equal to six percent. So we got all the inform all the rate of interest. So in this question the time is not needed, so I am not writing the time. So therefore, first you will find out the amount. So that is the amount at the end of the third year. So we write amount is equal to principal into so the formula is principal into one plus R one by hundred into one plus R two by hundred into one plus R three by hundred. So this is the formula. So if we solve by this formula, we will get the amount. So principal is equal to three one two five into One plus R one that is a one plus four by hundred into one plus R two that is one plus five by hundred and finally one plus R three by hundred that is equal to one by one plus six by hundred so it's equal to three one two five two so now you are solving the bracket portion so one plus four by hundred so you take hundred as the LCM so now one into hundred is equal to hundred plus four now similarly hundred plus five by hundred Into hundred plus six by hundred. So now I will remove the brackets. So it's equal to three one two five into one hundred four by hundred into one hundred five by hundred into one hundred six by hundred. So first we are cutting three one two five one hundred by twenty five. So twenty five fours are hundred and twenty five. One hundred twenty five will be equal to three one two five. So now again, I can cut by twenty five days hundred. So again four, and now it will become five. Now five we can cut di hundred directly. So now you are cutting the upward portion by these numbers. So twenty right ten becomes fifty three. So now again now here five and it will become fifty two. So now I can cut four and fifty two. It will become thirteen. So now I cut five and one hundred five. It will become twenty one. So finally, it becomes thirty into twenty one into fifty three by four. This four. So now this thirty into twenty one into fifty three. It will become one four four six nine. So this is the value of thirty into twenty one into fifty three. So now it will be by four. So divide it. Now fourteen three is at twelve, divided at two, twenty four. Now six is at twenty four, remained as zero. Now six comes down, one is at four, two, twenty nine. So now seven is at twenty eight, remained at one. So give it a decimal point here. So now we will get one more zero. So now four two is at eight. It will be equal to two. So now one more zero I get. So now directly it will become five. So twenty. So our amount is equal to right here. That we have our amount is equal to rupees three one six seven point two five. So therefore this is our amount. So now our final task is that we have to find out the compound interest. So right here C I or the compound interest is equal to. The formula will be amount minus the principal. So amount is our this one that is three one six seven point two five, and our principal is three one two five. Sorry guys, I made a mistake. It will be six one three six one seven, and here also six one. So it becomes three six one seven point two five minus three one two five, and that will be equal to rupees four hundred ninety two point two five. So therefore, our compound interest four hundred ninety two point two five rupees. So therefore, this is the final answer for this question. So guys, thanks for watching this video and please subscribe my channel for more solution.